What's good, YouTube? Rams Country, it's your boy, Alexander24. Welcome to Rams Live. You saying I missed some videos? Yeah, bro, you missed, like, maybe since the Carolina game. I think you haven't made any videos. Man, what, I, what have I missed? Man, I ain't missed shit these past couple of weeks, man. We've been total ass. So, I mean, but the reason I have missed videos is because, um, school. That's the biggest part. Um, after seeing blowout losses, I don't really, I, I more than likely would rather do my homework that, that, um, for my biology class that finally today is the last class. Um, not really finally, I'm gonna miss this class though. Um, but tomorrow is my last final. Finally, I'm done with school, thank God. I can focus back on, on YouTube and total with my gaming and with the, with the Rams, sadly. But, um, um, like I said... Yeah, I've missed some videos, but you know what? I haven't missed shit. I mean, ever since the last video that I made was against the Carolina Panthers, um, that was a what we lost against them. I made a video for that. Played the Jets the next the next game. Probably the worst game I've ever watched from the Rams. I've enjoyed losses more than that. Um, I think we won nine six, and then shit, 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 shit. I mean, we what where did we go? Let me see. Lost to the, well, we beat the Jets, um, lost to the Dolphins, 14-10. to 10. I was at that game with my uncle my aunt. Oh, my God, I could not believe what I had just witnessed. With four minutes left, we actually blew the fucking game. I mean, I'm just like, damn, this is, this, damn, this explains the whole fucking season right here. Um, got shitted on by the Saints. Um, just, well, Patriots just walked by, gave him a damn win, gave Brady his, most most career victors, whatever you want to call it. And then again, got stomped on by the NFC South, the Falcons, last week. And that was probably... I didn't... I, I mean, I had the game. I didn't even go to the game. I had the game on one of my TVs, and I was watching it while I was playing. But, I, I mean, I just told myself, I'm not going to that game. Because I already know I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go waste my whole day just to see us get blown out. That's what I told my uncle. I'm like, I'm not... I am sorry, but I'm not going to go and waste my entire day just to see us get humiliated and what happened we fucking got humiliated and after five long years jesus finally answered the rams prayers and we fired jeff fisher thank god i thought we were actually going to stay with this bum for the next two years um but hey i mean stan Kroenke actually cared about his team in la i mean i think i actually thought he forgot about us for some reason um, seeing these last 10 years going below 500 and then giving this man an, an extension. I don't know why. But after this last loss, you saw some key players like Todd Gurley come out and he said that we looked like a middle, no, um, like a high school, middle school offense, whatever he said. And that should trigger a lot of, a lot of heads because, I mean, these past couple of weeks, we look like we're just going out there and pretty much playing for the next pay paycheck. We're not playing with heart. We're not playing with any dedication, motivation that we want to win these games, even though we're out of it. But I mean, you play for the love of the sport and we don't, we don't look like that. Every phase, special teams, defense, offense, coaching, it all looks terrible. I mean, the last like three weeks we have shown it all that we're not playing with this, this heart that we should be. But I don't want to make this video super long on me ranting because I do have class today. It's my last class for biology, like I just stated. But finally, um, um, Jeff Fisher is gone. Jim Fossil will, or John, fuck, I first forget his name. Fossil will take over as interim head coach. Um, there are some head coaching names that are out there that I do want to talk about. There is Sean Payton, supposedly Sean Payton after this year. Just keep in mind, if Sean Payton were to come to L.A., that Greg Williams would probably head out because of their relationships in New Orleans um there is what did we see I have actually a list right here so I'm gonna be thinking from the top of my head um Pete Carroll I don't see Pete Carroll leaving Seattle for us um, but he would be a candidate that would really turn this program around Jim Harbaugh is, uh, is another one is it Jim or John I always forget I always mix up their names uh well Jim I didn't say who but um I don't see him leaving Michigan um, he's getting paid really, really good there at Michigan. I don't see him um, taking a pay cut to come, to come pretty much stress out and get frustrated in L.A. Um, but there are signs that him, he can possibly leave, but no, but no one's really think, no one really sees him leaving Michigan. I guess because of the family ties and unfinished business there in Michigan. And he's, he's actually doing really good there in Michigan. Besides that loss to Ohio the other day, a while back. 
Um, there is John Gruden. I don't see John Gruden leaving ESPN, honestly. I mean, I can't see him leaving ESPN after all these years and then coming to coach the Rams. But they're saying that he actually might. Other ones are Josh McDaniels. He was once the offensive coordinator with the Rams. I don't want him to come here. Um, there's the Shanahans. There's Kyle Shanahan and then there's his dad. They're saying that they might come if they give him the chance, the opportunity to come. Um, these can't, I mean, these coaches don't give me any hope. I mean, they're also David Shaw with them, Stanford. Um, if there's any coach that I would want to come to LA would be John Gruden, only because he ha he's he's known to do really really well with quarterbacks, young quarterbacks, and that's obviously Jared Goff. But I mean, there's a lot of question marks here for coaching, and it's going to be very very interesting. I'm hoping we don't go the cheap way and get some. I mean, I mean I don't know. I mean honestly, I would like to say the Shanahan's. But it just scares me with them a little bit, only because of their old school. But, I mean, I like their offensive schemes. Um, I still want to do a whole video on this about coaching. But I just want to skim by because I still, like, like I said, I still have coaching. I want to I wanna announce something a little bit. Um, but, yeah, something really big. I mean, this team hasn't looked like we like we expected. It looks it looks totally different. Um, uh, like I said, we're not playing with heart. Now we have this coaching vacancy. I'm sure I'll let Fossil stay there. I mean, if he does a good job, I love him on special teams. But yeah, this week we got Seattle on Thursday night football. Color rush. We're gonna wear our old school helmets, white and blue. That's nice. I'm, I mean, I'm wondering what are we gonna wear for our jerseys? What are we wearing for our jerseys? Because that's what I don't get. I mean, are we still gonna wear those the mustard jerseys? Or are we still, are we gonna wear just our away jerseys? But sadly, I will still be watching it. Um, but. That's pretty much it for the Rams. I mean, what do you want me to tell you about the preview of this game? I mean, it's gonna be a, a it's gonna be a different environment. I mean, obviously we're traveling to Seattle, the first game for Fossil and under head coach. And um, I mean, I, I I don't expect very much because I mean, look at this offense it's still the very same. I mean, uh, is he gonna bring a lot of different things, a lot of different plays? This offense. I mean, he does do a lot of trickery in his special teams, but. I'm just hoping um, he can make a change these last, what, three games? I can see him, I mean, the offense being maybe a little bit better only because of his trickery, but um, all we can do is really hope. So, oh, my special announcement I want to really say is, obviously you guys know I have a gaming channel, and I've done a lot of that. And this next part of my gaming channel is something I really want to share with everybody on my sports channels, only because I'm actually going to start playing Madden. Um, 17 and I'm actually gonna start doing a connected franchise for some people that don't know what that is um, I'm gonna take over a franchise then rebuild them and um, And pretty much do make trades just in that rebuilding process coaching changes And obviously if you don't know I'm actually gonna take over the Rams from the beginning of the season to the very end And I'll be doing all that really cool stuff. It's gonna be funny gonna be surprising So I mean if you guys want to you guys can go ahead head over to that channel subscribe and watch those videos I'll leave a link in the, in the description below. So, super fun. I mean, just if you guys can show the support. This is my very first channel, like I said. And this is something I want to share with this first channel. Only because this is pretty much my first family. And where I first started on YouTube. And, I mean, I, I'm almost here 500 just subscribers here on this channel. I mean, it's still almost a good accomplishment. So, like I said, if you want, please head over to that next channel. Leave a description. I'll leave a link in the description below. And you can go ahead and subscribe. And then... Be prepared for those videos. You'll be super funny. If you, if you want, you can view my previous videos that I've had on there. But um, thank you very much. Again, that's Alex at 24. Um, but uh, this week is Seattle. So let's hope. I mean, we're 4-9 right now. Playoffs, playoffs, playoffs. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but that's my time, guys. Stay up. Rams up. Peace out. See you all Thursday.